will be rolled point. into a new financialization scheme where by the same people that were running the old one. So I'm a I'm a hope destroyer. I'm Mr. Bad News. I've seen enough uh, of uh, these uh, schemes and cacocracies to think, you know, we have we have a lot of idealism in our youth. Uh, I was a student too at Wits University for a glorious year. I studied actuarial science, you know, for another glorious year. I was programmer. I, you know, we can change the world. We can change the world. As long as the same people are holding power and passing it on to their kin and running the same scams, you will start to get jaded. You will see that the same pumper mentals and dumper mentals, the same games are being run by similar kind of people. Uh, the, the you know the whole treatment of this whole FTX saga and the fact that the CEO stood down just before hasn't been arrested, uh, and so many so many things that are patently obvious. The the the, the role of funding uh, the political parties. Why are the Republicans and the Democrats not immediately forced to return the money that clearly was stolen client money? All of this is no, we don't want that. We don't want to discuss that. We don't want to discuss that. No, it was all about. CZ, you know, Binance. So th this is a microcosm. They are steering the, the narrative. The media shines the searchlight where they want it shone. Um, and it's where the, the dark, dirty corners are where the same people and their spawn will be reinstituting the same game. And that is ruling and managing the masses uh, to their personal gain and entrenchment of power. While, uh, whilst hiding the fact that they are there. Uh, and the problem we have now is labor is becoming less critical because we have automation and robotics, which is why there's a strong eugenicist type model of pushing pensioners to, to kill themselves and go to Switzerland and do various things. There's all these various schemes and it's now in Canada. There's a lot of uh, quite shaky, non-Hippocratic oath, let's just say, type medicine being pushed at the moment. Uh, we, we harvested, if you'll excuse the phrase, a lot of elderly people with our treatment uh, within the lockdowns and all of that. So there's a lot of demographic shenanigans going on. There's a real problem on fertility and birth. We have a, we have a new birth problem. We have a shortage, not an overpopulation. That's going to come at you like, wow, I can't conceptualize that. Uh, isn't it, aren't we overpopulated? Aren't we killing the planet? Aren't we doing all of this? The irony is all these mega oligarchies are the ones that created all the pollution. It's big oil, big tobacco, uh, all the big corporates that, uh, you know, cut up, cutting up the Amazon jungle to plant soybeans, uh, chasing out the tribes, uh, you know, planes of prime ministers that took and presidents that took back the, the the Brazilian or the Colombian oil and brought it back under their nation states uh, auspices, their planes falling out the sky. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, the big corporates were the sinners as well. And now they pin that on you, the layman, and saying, well, it's your consumerism. But they're the ones that brought the financialization of everything and banking to create the pumpamentals. They're the ones stuffing you with a credit card uh, with banks with ursuary interest rates and saying, buy now, pay later. Uh, so, you know, they, the, the duality of their corruption and the, the gaslighting is extreme.